Hey everyone, welcome back and happy Tuesday. Woo! I love me a good Tuesday. I got my chill pill. I am ready to go. And there is a lot to discuss, especially Vanderpump Rules, which I think is very fitting considering tonight we get the new episode of Vanderpump Rules and The Valley. The Valley is going to pop off tonight, episode three, and I'm going to explain why really quick. Michelle Lolly is about to be accused of being a Republican and also the other R word, which I think po politics should kind of stay out of a lot of this just because like politics, religion, but before the housewives used to not talk about well, children or husbands. So I don't know. I don't honestly, maybe I guess just anything goes on reality TV, but that is, I mean, wow. Okay. Anyways, Back to talk about it. Apparently, Sheena kissed a girl and she liked it and Brock did not. But Brock is also under fire and we're going to break it all down. So before we do, go ahead, pop off in the comment section, smash that like button. If you're not subscribed, get subscribed. Don't forget to hit that notification bell and let's jump right in. Like we do it. All right, guys. So we're back to talk about Sheena and Brock and all Brock. Like, what? Why is it rolling up? Brock, Brock. It's just the bottom lip. Sorry. <laughs> I've had four shots of espresso and I stopped there, but it's Tuesday and I'm happy. Let's get into the Sheena of it all, shall we? Thank you to Reality T. Sheena Shea is detailing a relationship with a woman before meeting Brock Davies. Hmm. Okay. Sheena is discussing her love life before meeting Brock. Hmm. Everyone has their past. But in this case, well, apparently there was a bit of an overlap in her romantic encounters. During a recent interview, the Good as Gold singer reveals that she was exploring romance with a female friend at the time of meeting her now husband. There was a lingering impact on how she and Brock proceeded with their relationship and subsequent marriage. Sheena revealed that out of respect to her husband, there is no more kissing girls. I mean, I like that, Sheena. You're like, Brock came into the situation. He doesn't want me kissing girls. We now have a daughter. There is no more kissing girls. But then also now I kind of feel bad for the girl. When she, Was she just like, I thought we had something. And then all of a sudden, here comes this Australian hunk. Can you want him? And Sheena's like, yeah, of course I do. So with that, back to it. Hmm. All right. She made the comments during a recent episode of the Vanderpump Rules after show alongside Kristen Doty, where the conversations turned to Sheena's past hookups with friends, including Ariana Maddox. We've had a few moments. She's a good kisser. She's hot as fuck. Now in my relationship with Brock, that is like a big no-no. He's not cool with that whatsoever. Brock asked Sheena to change her behaviors due to his own emotional baggage. It just really bothers him. It's a trigger from a past relationship. When I met Brock, I was kind of in a thing with a girl and he knew that. So I think our relationship starting out that way, Kristen said it's so long ago. And she said, I know, but he was there watching her and I, at her birthday party, make out. Then Brock and I started dating, and I had to completely cut her off, and I hurt her. And Yeah, I mean, that's the shitty situation. It's a shitty situation. But it doesn't seem like it went without the benefits of it, considering she is now married to this man that she loves so much. They have a beautiful baby. They just moved into a new house. Like, shit is working out, and I'm sure the other girl is fine. I think. I mean, I don't know shit about the other girl, so I don't know. Anyways, Sheena was also friends with her former flame at the time, and they were kind of exploring and seeing if they were going to take it further. She said, but then I met Brock, so I never was able to fully explore that relationship. But several further encounters with female friends were uncomfortable for Brock, to the point that he had to set up some boundaries. Sheena chose to oblige for the sake of her marriage. There were a few drunken kisses with Ariana, and he was like, okay, look, if they add value to your life, maybe, but I knew it still made him uncomfortable. It was a subsequent kiss with Vanderpump Rules alum Dana Cathan that set Brock over the edge, and the ladies were having a moment. We were feeling it, and she kissed me. 
I let it go for maybe a second too long. And I saw the look on his face after and was like, noted, got it. Dana and I kissed at Coachella last year. And that's where he's like, I'm drawing the fucking line. Never do that again. Oh, so apparently she changed her habits after that. And as you guys know, happily married ever since. So we're going to leave it at that. Speaking of Sheena, though, do you guys remember Tallulah? Well, thank you to the Bravo investigator. Tallulah had something to say about Sheena. Shenanigans, but the Love real that. kind of shenanigans. Oh, I mean, your not family. The, not the bad podcast kind of shenanigans. Not the bad podcast. <gasps> <gasps> oh, damn. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. <laughs> Girl. Uh, it's like shenanigans, but the Love real that. kind of shenanigans. Oh, I mean, your not family. The, not the bad podcast kind of shenanigans. Oh, hell. <gasps> 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 Damn. Oh, damn. It's like shenanigans. But the We're done with you. Sheena, don't worry, girl. I got your back. Now moving on, I wanted to go over to the Brock, kind of getting him in a little bit of trouble. Um, some hot water. I got my chill pill right here, but I'm sitting here thinking, how could Brock have done this any different? Well, Probably by not putting the comment out there. And I don't know. Sometimes people are drinking. Sometimes people are just feeling it. Some people are just like, you know what? I've kept my mouth shut for too damn long. And f you for all of the shit you put on my family. And then they want to speak out. So this could be any of those things or none of those things. I don't know. The point is, is it happened. So let's get into it. Thank you to tasteofreality.com. Brock Davies, dirty, deleted comment calling rachel levis's manager i see you next tuesday Bender pump rules star brock davies was called out for dirty deleting a comment he made calling rachel levis's manager juliet a see you next tuesday for context rachel's manager who brock refers to as pr doubts ariana maddox learned about scandaval by finding his phone and having intuition to search for anything nefarious brock reacted strongly to the ariana slander the message Brock Dirty deleted was, um, damn, I would have thought by now Raquel would have gotten that better PR, but apparently her PR just wants to leverage her working relationships for what? Clout? Don't ever come for Ariana in this situation, you callous see you next Tuesday. Okay. Mm now, in case we missed it, Rachel's manager, Juliet, was a guest on the Rachel Goes Rogue podcast, and she disclosed her opinion of why Scannaball became such a phenomenon. My theory is not going to be a popular one, but I stand by it. I will go to my grave believing it. Keep in mind, Brock was so upset by this theory, he felt the need to call Juliet. See you next Tuesday. The Bravo sleuths are super sleuths, but women as a whole are pretty good at sleuthing. If I think my husband is cheating, I can walk right over to his side of the bed when he is asleep and check his phone. Clearly, she has his password, right? When you drop your phone, it doesn't unlock. So she had to unlock it. She unlocked it, if the story is true, to check it at that moment. Okay. More evidence from... That's that's not necessarily... Can I just say really quick that that's not necessarily true? Because sometimes if you have your phone in your pocket and you have it on the... um what is it like where it doesn't automatically lock and you have it in your pocket, you just checked it and you just like, whatever, stick it back in your pocket. Like for example, sometimes I forget to lock my phone. I accidentally call people. I leave my flashlight on this thing on all the time. There are other ways where this could have been a totally different situation. Just saying more evidence from Juliet that Ariana knew of the affair longer than she's letting on. Rachel's manager, Juliet, was a guest on the Rachel Goes Rogue podcast. She disclosed her opinion again, and she's saying, before getting called to see you next Tuesday and it getting dirty deleted, she reminded the listeners that on Sheena Shea's shenanigans podcast of a key point. Ariana had noticed sus behavior between Tom Sandoval and Rachel. Additionally, Rachel's lawsuit against Ariana and Tom states Ariana knew about the affair before she saw the explicit video of the former beauty pageant queen. Mm. So I don't believe that's how Ariana learned of Tom and Rachel's tryst. Ariana could have seen the video the day before and told production and off they went. But if you think your partner is cheating and you have access to their phone 24 hours a day, wait till they're asleep. Wait till they go to the bathroom. But look at the phone. She had the password. So I don't buy that it fell out of Tom's pocket and she looked at it. I just think that was set up for the whole thing, which snowballed into Sandoval or Scandoval. 
Mm. Okay. Well, I think we should probably just listen to it for one second. Here we go. How do you think it came out when it did? And why, if that is your theory, why do you think it came out when it did? So my theory is not going to be a popular one, but I stand by it and I will go to my grave believing it, um, is that so the problem sleuths are super sleuths, but women as a whole, pretty good at sleuthing. If I think my husband is cheating and I can walk right over to the, his side of the bed when he's asleep and check his phone, because clearly she has a password, right? When you drop your phone, it doesn't unlock. So she had to unlock it. She unlocked it if the story is true to check it at that moment. Why? Why would you, if you suspect anything at any time, and we already know because Sheena and her podcast, they came out and said something about, oh, it, Ariana said, oh, this is sus behavior, right? And and um, and in the lawsuit that Rachel filed, she also said that she believes, you know, this was known beforehand. Um, so I don't believe that. I don't believe that's how it's happened. I believe that was propped um, and sent. And I don't know, maybe she saw it the day before and she told production and, and off they went. Um, but if you want, if you think that some of your partner is cheating, you have access to their phone 24 hours a day. Wait till they're asleep. Wait till they go to the bathroom. Go look at the phone. She had the password. So I don't buy that it fell out of his pocket and I looked at it and blah, 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 blah. I think that was set up for the whole thing. Okay, so I think that this woman obviously has trust issues. Um, one, because I'm not checking Jason's phone every two seconds. But also, those are good points. But also, it doesn't fucking matter how she found out. What matters is your client had an affair with her man. That's it. Boom. Done. End of story. We can dead this shit right now. Anyways, I hope you guys have a beautiful Tuesday. Happy Tuesday, everyone. I love you guys so much, and we'll see you next time. Bye, guys.